What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss how to send large files online and using a technology by Firefox called as Firefox Send. So we already have uh, different ways of sending files online, right? Email, uh, but the limitation is that it, it actually can send files up to 25 MB. What about files that are like, uh, uh, like 500 MB or maybe up to a GB? Uh, you can upload on Google Drive, right? What if I tell you there's a better and simpler way to send those files even up to 2.5 GB for free uh, using Firefox Send? Let's discuss how we can do that. So this is the Firefox Send I'm talking about and it's actually uh, through Firefox and you don't even need a Firefox account or Firefox browser to, even to use this service. As you can see, I'm actually using Chrome and uh, you just need to visit this link called sent.firefox.com and using that you can actually send files up to 1 GB in size if you are a guest and in case you have a Firefox account then you can send files up to 2.5 GB and that's for free. The biggest advantage it has over Google Drive is that since it's not a cloud service your files are never stored on the uh, Firefox server they are always private they are secure. Uh, the files are always deleted once they have served their purpose. That means once you have transferred the files, the files are always deleted. The files are always encrypted uh, using the end-to-end -end encryption. That means your files are secure. No one can read them except your recipient. And this is really, really simple even compared with Google Drive. So let me show you how it works. So you just visit this link called send.firefox.com and you just select uh, this option to upload a file. Uh, let's say I'm gonna upload this mp4 file which probably is like 20 MB in size yeah 20.7 MB and then you can uh, you can still upload more files but uh, let me stick to this one and you can configure the sending options maybe you want to expire the download after one download or five downloads or 100 downloads just select that option or you can actually expire the file in some duration like maybe five minutes one hour one day or seven days it's either this or that and then you also have an option to enter your password let's try that I'm gonna enter uh, some random password here and then click upload as you can see the file expires after one download or one day whichever comes first and here's your download link which you can just uh, click that and the link is copied and here you go you can actually uh, send that link over a text message, over uh, over an email, or you know any source online. Uh, let's say you have already sent that link to the person, and the person has received the link, which uh, you know the person just need to enter that link in the web browser. the The recipient doesn't need to even be on Firefox. Uh, the recipient just need to enter the link in the browser, or maybe even on the on the cell phone. And once the recipient uh, hit enter, you can see. It actually asks for the password because the sender has given the password and you can provide the same password and unlock the file to download and here you go you can click download to actually download the file so let's hit the download button and actually download the file so as you can see the download didn't go through and that is because I do have pop-ups being blocked by Firefox so I'm gonna turn off my pop-up blocker and then let's try this again So just a, just an advice for you, if you have any kind of pop-up blocker uh, you know, installed on your browser, it's a good idea to actually disable that before you hit the download button. And as you can see, the download goes through now, which I'm going to download uh, to a location on my desktop and the file has been downloaded. So if you're seeing any kind of uh, error message while uh, you know downloading this uh, file using the service, just uh, you know check out your extensions that can be interfering with the service. And since we have used the download once, let's try the link again because the link was supposed to expire in one download so let's see what happens now oh and as you can see the link has expired so that means your file has already been deleted the file has already served the purpose and this is the best thing that i like about firefox n that being a free service you know it, it doesn't store anything on the server so you know your file stays private it stays with you so it gets a thumbs up from me and this is pretty much it from this video I hope you liked this video and it was useful for you and if it was, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video.